Howdy folks, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. It's been a momentous week in the gun industry. Brandon Herrera has come out with his latest and possibly final version of the AK-50. I've made an RN-50 pistol, this one's 9mm, and I'm doing another rifling video. It doesn't get much better than that. So here's a rifling button from Dan John. Here's a rifling button from Eldorado Tool. Here are just three pieces of 4130 seamless tubing. All right, folks, here's what you've been waiting for, the rifling machine. Well, I don't know if you care about the machine, you just care about the rifling. And we're gonna take a close look because it's hard to, hard to know what you're looking at here. Now, this is the actual rod that gets pushed by the giant hydraulic cylinder. So this rod goes into a hole in the thrust bearing. The thrust bearing looks like a little flying saucer. And so what we're doing is we're putting a, um, kind of looks like a pipe bomb. And hang on a second here. This looks like a pipe bomb. And for good reason. <laughs> Now, you can see the hole goes all the way through, obviously. The rod's gotta go through there and push the rifling button through the barrel. And, and here's the actual barrel. Well, it's going to be a barrel. And some of you might notice, hey, that thing's kinda of small for a gun barrel, and well, at least in nine millimeter, and you would be right. Um, it is definitely too small for nine millimeter. Unheat treated. Now, if we heat treat it, it's, it'll be okay. And here this goes. And I've got a bushing on the top to keep it centered up. Okay, so got the rifling button in there. Barrel goes down over it. Bushing goes over. And I'm going to use this spiffy oil from AFT. Don't get scared about, you know, coming to shoot your dog. It's not the same AFT. <laughs> Funny how that stuff uh, goes all over the internet, huh? ATF becomes, becomes AFT. Alright, so I'm just dropping a few drops down here. And will that do it? I don't, I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. I could have swabbed the inside of the, the barrel, but. I have a feeling that it will make it past the button and well you know what never be too sure right and how's that look yeah it was it's kind of making its way down there now we definitely have oil in the bottom of the barrel but you know what now I'm worried am I going to get cotton in there not my friend Cotton either. Remember Cotton? All right. Now the top of the pipe bomb goes on. I shouldn't say pipe bomb because YouTube will go and, you know, use their AI to decide that I'm showing people how to make bombs. It sure does look like a pipe bomb though, doesn't it? All right, set it again. All right, now it's ready to go. I'm going to check my focus here. You know how that goes. Yeah. And I'm going to tilt up just a little bit. Well, you know, we're going to go we're going to go back for this because you're going to get to see the the action of the whole thing going. And I am worried about yeah, there's a lot of force on the rifling button and once it breaks through there or gets through the barrel then it's not going to have any force left and it's going to want to you know, go up and hit the ceiling. So I'm putting this steel thingy on top, which is actually a BFG 50A barrel extension, uh, sort of in progress. Okay, and here we go, folks. This is it. Um, I don't know how far I need to go, but not that far. There it is. Push the button. That's so scary, isn't it?
Woo! Okay, that's obviously through. And look at that. The pilot end of the bushing is out. I'm gonna move the camera. Okay, the rifling button made it through. And it looks perfect still. That's great. And I should have brought a paper towel over because, you know, oil. That was not very dramatic at all, was it? Take the type top off of the PB. I'm not going to use the word. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. It's like, what am I seeing here? It's the rod. All right. It's stuck. Oh, here we go. Come on. All right, and uh, you can't see this, but I can. And uh, there's too much oil to see what the hell happened. <laughs> I'm assuming it's rifled. Yes, it is rifled. Um, yeah, it is rifled. Very cool. Well, I'm going to go take this and uh, clean it out, clean the oil out so we can uh, get a little better look at it. And there it is. Kind of, yeah, you can see it. It's, uh, it's weird. Um, it's really hard to look down a hole like this. I've talked about that before, but that looks pretty good. So you can see that's uh, that's pretty good rifling. Not bad at all. All right. Here's the latest, latest victim. And this is actually ETD-150, which is a strain-hardened version of 4140. Hmm. It may be more machinable than 4140 that's of equivalent strength. So it does pretty well. It's a little bit hard for a barrel. Uh, we're going to make it work. I'm going to uh, drop some more oil down it. Now this rod is, or this bar, is the same diameter as the inside of this. This is what this was made for, three quarter inch. All right, everything is all crunched down. And this time I'm going to videotape the gauge that's down there. So I can get an idea how much force is actually being exerted. There we go. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Woo! You tell there's some force on there that time. Ooh, this puppy's hot. Wow. Oh, oh man. I mean, it's like, yeah, probably 120, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It was definitely doing some work. Oh, boy, that's kind of tight. All right, well, I'm going to have to knock this out of here somehow. Be right back. Okay. This looks like an accident waiting to happen, and maybe it is, but we shall see.
Wow, what do you know? Had an initial bang, but after that, no big deal. Woohoo! Glad, glad for that. I'm gonna beat it out with a hammer the rest of the way. Very cool. I know, I should be embarrassed. I shouldn't even show this. But, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And this actually works. It's not, it's not that horrible. As long as you hold the drill pretty steady, don't go too fast. Don't ever do this, part 27. And yes, I do use oil here. And of course you gotta go and blow the chips out every few seconds. Put more oil on the reamer. So yeah, it's not exactly fast, but it does the job. It's all right. We got that. And this is something you can't even get from Sammy. Uh, the stick out, case stick out. Uh, on nine millimeters, normally somewhere between 100 thou and 125 thou, you know, eighth of an inch. Uh, and I'm getting pretty close to that. Still have five thousand to go. Hmm. I said I knew crap last time. All right. Think that got it? Think so. Think so. One hundred twenty thousand. Yeah, maybe 115. It's right, right in the range where we want it to be. Yeah, 115 thou stick out. That's pretty good. That'll do, pig. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate you as always. I know you've got better things to do with your time than to watch my videos. Well, some of you have better things to do than to watch my videos, but I always appreciate you watching. Thanks. Catch you next time.